Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wedding Rags to Island Riches, our Rags to Riches challenge here in The Sims 4 Island Living. And Nalui has dragged herself into the little cave that is actually over here next to the uh, shipwreck, and she has been getting a good night's sleep in that cave. I really can't wait until we have enough money to be able to put her in the cave that I want to plop down right between all of her coconut trees here on her own little abandoned island uh but we don't have enough some holes for that just yet and i'm hoping today is going to be a very fruitful day of combing for trash treasure and seashells along the beach and what better place to try to do that than actually being over next to a shipwreck so i have my fingers crossed that we will actually find something good that we can sell we can also go and get another one of the frogs once she really starts waking up for the morning maybe i'll send her over to have like a refreshing shower in the waterfall to clean up this nasty trash because we don't need any of that nonsense along our beautiful beaches we literally kind of call this whole place home now because we have nowhere else to go but i'm really hoping we can at least get her cave done today because i really 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 want to send Louis into town so we can start doing oh i thought that was a mermaid but it was dolphins oh that was so exciting that was so cool wait snorkeling scuba diving what oh my gosh look at all the dolphins this is so cool! Now, Louis, wake up and come hang out with the dolphins. Come snorkel over here, and then maybe we can, maybe we can like play with the dolphins. That would be so much fun. I had no idea. Like, what can you do when you snorkel? Is it just for fun? Can you scuba dive and get things? Come on, Nalui, There's dolphins out. We cannot pass up this opportunity. Like, that is way too much fun. Maybe she can get her socialization up by hanging out with the dolphins. Wouldn't that be something? All right, here we go. She's got her little adorable, oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Hi guys, you guys, we're literally swimming with solvents. <laughs> They're coming to check our girl out. This is so cute, oh my goodness. Ah, there we go, oh my gosh, this is just too perfect. This is so awesome. I am so happy right now. I really hope we'll be able to start like talking to the dolphins and hanging out with them. I think you can do that when you become a marine biologist. Call over dolphin, call over dolphin. Oh my gosh, yes. Is this is this how we're gonna become friends? <gasps> you guys, we just called over a dolphin. <laughs> Okay, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. Let's get a good look at how this is going. Oh, this is so fun. And then we just get to sit and chat with a dolphin. This is one way. Oh my gosh. Aha! Who's this person? Is this the mermaid lady? It is the mermaid lady. No way. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. I don't think it's a coincidence that she showed up just then. Let's talk to the dolphin. We actually have a relationship with the curious dolphin. This is so cool. Is this, I think, oh, that was so much fun. Are we playing with it? Can we call the dolphin back over? Only one dolphin at a time can be summoned. Oh my gosh, I think, look at our social is just like going up through the roof friendly. Can we do a friendly introduction? Will she get off the boat to like greet us? I'm not sure. Okay, she seems like she's a little busy at the moment. There's the dolphin again! Oh, this is so cool! Can we talk to him again? Hi, buddy! This is actually how we're gonna get our social up. Oh, not impressed. Uh, let's playfully splash. Do you wanna play? Oh, that's so cute! That's so cute. 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 Oh, I'm so happy right now. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh my gosh. He's kind of scary from that angle. Oh, that's so fun. Can we pet him? We can pet him. I'm 
in love. This is so perfect. Talk about a way to really celebrate the fact that we're like castaways. We're totally lonely. We have no one else to hang out with. And now we're about to become friends. If we become friends with a dolphin, I guess I can give her a new swimsuit. Maybe, maybe not. That'd be a bit of a stretch. Um, can we feed him? We'll just say that we had like a little fish. We have such little money, but this is so worth it. And I think I think the little dolphin friend likes it. And he likes playing. Request trick dance fetch jump. Oh, this is so cool. I think we're actually going to become friends with a dolphin. I'm so glad we figured this out. Okay, do you want to do a little fetch thing? Okay, so he didn't want he didn't want and we can ask him to, to play with us. <gasps> Is he fetching something? Oh, oh, hey! Makoa wants to like hang out, but we actually don't get text message. What? Okay, we shouldn't be getting any text messages here. Uh, that's actually one of the lot traits. Are we- wait, are we like in Wi-Fi range? Because <laughs> the Admiral's wreckage should have... Yeah, off the grid. That is so funny. We have cell phone connection out in the ocean. That's hilarious. But we'll we'll keep to the spirit of the challenge. <gasps> the dolphin fetched us a coconut. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, guys, I could just be doing this forever. I had no idea that we could have a friendly dolphin come and like kind of help rescue us, to be completely honest. This is of the, I mean, look how happy she is. This is a child of the sea, so this is like perfect. Um, what about us be squirted? Can we ride around with the dolphins at some point? It's a very slow thing building up a relationship with a dolphin. What about dancing? Do you want to dance? No, the dolphin's done with us for now. That was so cool. Okay, that was amazing. Uh, scuba dive. It's too shower. Look for a dive buoy in deep water to go scuba diving. Now, we'll have to do a little exploring to figure out, like, if we can scuba dive and things. Can I really go all the way over here? Wow! We can really explore this place. This is so exciting. Uh, alright. So, I think that was snorkeling. That was scuba diving. Swimming, back float, skinny dipping. Okay, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to head back to the shore. But we're going to clean this nastiness up because we have little dolphins. The dolphin school is now gone because the fish are gone. But that was so fun. We actually took the very edge off of the worst of our social need by playing with dolphins. I think that's going to definitely make Nilui realize that she wants to clean this place up too. Look at that. She's super happy from a dolphin friend. Oh, that's adorable. All right, so we'll clean that up. Let's come clean this up. I don't think it counts towards anything, or if it does, it's kind of invisible at the moment. But then we can go ahead and do a little bit of beachcombing for trash. Ah, there's more trash over there. Yeah, I don't think it counts towards anything at the moment, unless you're a conservationist. But I like the idea that we can at least clean it up because we don't want we don't want this stuff bothering our poor little dolphin friend. Our doll friend even. <laughs> but yeah, we'll look for some trash and then we'll go catch a um we will go catch ourselves another frog. Oh hello, Melee. Melee. And we can try talking with her. Beachcomb for trash. Hey, where'd the fishing thing go? Oh, it's over here! Gosh, I got myself all topsy-turvied around. Who's this? Time to turn the headline effects back on. Effects on. So I can see what's going on. Leela Ilis. Very nice to meet you, Leela. You look nice. Mile did not seem amused in with us last time. But hopefully we can change her mind about that. Let's go beachcomb for trash over here. Can I rummage? Oh, and then we might do a little bit of rummaging. And I'm really desperate. I might actually sell all of these coconuts because I just want to get off this island. <laughs> I need to find some way to make a little bit more money. Some way, somehow. I think we got pinched. We touched something painful. What was that? From something touching her hand. So she didn't have any luck with the little bit of beachcombing that we just did. 
Darn it, and we didn't have any luck there either. Maybe for seashells? I mean, things are looking a little bit nicer now that we cleaned up that trash. Maybe it's just my imagination. Come on, seashells. She touched something slimy. Yeah, something gross that we don't want to think about. We might have to just go ahead and try fishing. Or frogs. Beachcomb, seashells. We're definitely going to rummage then. I'm getting desperate. <gasps> A scallop shell! Curses! I really want to keep the, the complete shell collection. <laughs> so now I, I'm not quite in the mood to... Oh, she's looking for another seashell. Okay, yeah. she is, And she's actually super lonely. So let's try interrupting. Let's try reintroducing ourselves to Melee. And maybe, maybe like show that we're not just trapped in a Pepper scary wedding dress. Oh, she stopped fishing! Mm -hmm. Feel good. <gasps> okay. So, maybe ask her about her career? Yay! Okay! Discuss local fishing spots? Like, wow, people around here really love fishing. You know, I come here to get away from things. I think that's what Melee's saying. <laughs> like, I don't even have cell reception out here. Oh, she's a cook! Oh, that's really cool! We like food! We're actually really hungry quite often. Uh, in fact, we'll go ahead and discuss our, our love of food because we, we get hungry quite often. Um, maybe share ideas about good ways to cook coconut? Good, our social is going up, and if we can make friends with Mile... Let's see. Oh, is she doing some more? She is doing some more fishing. I guess we could go fishing with her. Maybe she can teach us some of the tricks. All right, is this lady trouble? She was trouble the other day. We got to teach people not to be litter bugs. All right. And then hopefully, maybe we can get social up. Look at the dolphin. We're actually friends with the dolphin, which makes me so happy. Can we please catch anything? Oh, Amelia caught something. Oh, and now she's like, I'm tired and going home. <gasps> this lady just caught something. What is that? That's so cool. And poor Nalui is just like, what? I can't catch anything. I guess we'll eat the the coconut. The do well, we can we can go ahead and place this down and have something to eat in just a second. And then we'll go catch ourselves some frogs. But wait, is this our first catch? <gasps> Treasure! Oh, Nalui! This is fantastic! It's treasure of the sea! Oh, maybe we're gonna survive after all. Don't look so put out. What do we get? A uh, Ranbors? I don't even know that one! Ranbors! Rare! Energizing level 3. When slotted into the Celestial Crystal Crown, this crystal periodically makes all nearby sims happy and recharges all needs except energy. That is over-freaking-powered! <laughs> Oh my gosh, and it's a rare crystal? Good job, girl! That was good! Oh, I've never even heard of that one. I'm gonna have to do something very painful and sell it. I'm gonna wait till we figure out what- Okay, I'm gonna have to sell it. If I'm gonna keep every single freaking seashell, then I'm gonna have to sell the, the crystals we get, because otherwise I'm just being ridiculous. Alright, that's not anything useful. But let's go ahead and get ourselves some of the Stell Granola, our good friends Makoa. Ha, <laughs> that kind of rhymes. Ha, our good friend Makoa gave us. And I'm going to make myself sell this rare crystal. Maybe the lady next to us was like, hey, that looks awesome. I'll buy it off you. And then we'll go ahead. And after we eat our granola. In fact, oh, there's a trash can on the side of the island. Thank goodness. I can finally get rid of the nasty old granola we have been carrying around in our pockets for so long. There we go. We haven't been in our wedding dress in a little while now that I, I realize it. What's that? Hmm. There's smoke coming from underground. That's not a good sign. All right, and then after we tend to our hunger, we'll go ahead, we'll go to the restroom. There we go. Nice. All right. Get up, my friend. We'll carry our cooler back to the other side of the island. Let's use the restroom. We are so close to being able to get our little cave. That makes me so relieved. And then after we use the restroom, we will attract some frogs. And I think we'll just about be there. 
Alright, you're not gonna cause any trouble, are you, lady? She she just looks like like I really need to do more cleaning up of the area. Gosh, it's just so sad to see all of this litter just show up everywhere. I can't wait until we can become a conservationist and help Makoa. Because that would be pretty amazing. Alright, down we go. Let's attract some frogs. I do want to get off this island. Just so we can go get some odd jobs. Yes, a spotted eggplant frog! I think that guy, he's a common. Fooey. Alright, well let's breed them. And we have an eggplant whirl! Yes, we actually have rare frog! We'll sell the uncommon frog, uh, like the common frog, and then we're a little closer to, I think, the 420 that we actually need. And we'll go ahead and shower to be able to get ourselves a the, the cave. And once we get the cave and maybe a pea bush, then I will feel like we can leave our island. But I just really feel like we should have at least those things set before we get the canoe. Because otherwise it feels like we're running away from our island. And we need to make this place home. We need to make it home, Nalui. Also, I really want to try... Oh, look at the waterfall. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so in love with this. I could just stare at this all day. Isn't it gorgeous? But I, I do want to try to make this place home. Even though that's a little tricky. And I like that Makoa was trying to, to contact us. I think he's a little concerned. I wish we could catch more frogs because they're so cute just swimming around. They're adorable. I love them. And then we'll come clean this up and we'll beach comb for some trash. And then we'll get ready to go back over to our island. And we might even say hello to this person. Yeah, we might go ahead and just like introduce ourselves really quickly. Friendly introduction. Makoa so far has been the absolute most friendly person we've bumped into. But who's this? Kalamanui Una uh, Iona? We might call her Iona. How's your day going? What's your career? Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and then maybe she can give us some fishing tips. Because I don't think we we have found a few fish. Oh, maybe she just like searches the beach for seashells. What a beautiful... Can we compliment her outfit somehow? Oh, she's gone. Okay. Everybody gets tired and they just go home and, and kind of leave this area, which is so interesting. Ooh, and then we might even be able to rummage in that trash. We're so close, guys. We're so close to having a little cave of our own. Oh, and once we get a cave going, come on, trash. Oh, hello, person. Are we still kind of lonely? We're kind of doing okay on social, but she looks really cool. I love how her hair is so fancy. It's like she has got a bunch of seashells in her hair. I really want to go into town to introduce ourselves to people. Okay, there's- Oh, Makoa, hey! Don't you worry. Dude, what's up? Like, how are you? This will help us. This will help us. Uh, deep conversation, share ideas. Let's give a hug to be like, Makoa! What's up? And then maybe we can exchange some gossip. Just so excited to see a familiar face. And we'll discuss the lo local fishing spots again. I definitely need to, like, throw away the trash. Oh, I wonder if we're talking about, like, I, I wish I remembered, like, who I married. I have no idea. Like, it's so nice to hear that you're married and just, I miss my, my, whoever I have. All right, maybe we can build a sand castle together because that made them so happy. Oh, he's identified a minnow for us. I'm sorry, ma'am. She thinks we're a litter bug. That's fair. We did, we did kind of just leave that on the ground. So we should go ahead and just like throw this away. Come on. Oh my gosh, this woman is so mad about the trash. I think she's off to, okay, she's probably off to go report us about the trash for some reason. <laughs> so we'll leave her be. But all right, let's go ahead and we are going to go back to our place. And I feel like I want Makoa to just like come and hang out for a minute. But he looks like he's a, a man on a mission. So let's go ahead and go back to our little abandoned island. This is going much... I, I might have to sell some seashells. I hate to admit it. But I might have to sell some of our seashells. 
because this is going a lot slower than I expected. Uh, all right. And we've got a little bit of hunger. Let's line things up. If I sold, I mean, the coconuts would be, mm, mm, okay, this is it. Oh, and can I breed my frogs? Ah, not yet. All right, let's go ahead, beachcomb for trash really quickly. Oh, and she wants to light a bonfire, which is kind of cute. And she also wanted to plant some of the coconuts. So I think if we can be patient, this is going to really pay off in a big way. Because we'll have all of these coconut trees. And that will that will feed us into the far future, I'm hoping. Do a little bit of beach combing. Do a little bit of planting. Oh, she's really mad. Oh, a seagull snatched things. Like, she's angry and uncomfortable. Come on, my dear. All right. Planting all of our coconuts. We're getting kind of tired. Kind of hungry again. Beach comb for trash again. I'm going to push her. We're so close to being able to get everything. Aw, oh, now she's way too uncomfortable. Fooey. Uh, go ahead and nap, darling. Fooey. This is a little harder than I thought it would be. I really... I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to sell my... I don't want to have to sell my little seashells. They're so pretty. But I guess we'll always have the rest of, of time to be... Oh, yes! My frogs are ready for breeding! We were saved by the frogs. Thank goodness. Actually, this whirly flower frog is the rarest. So we're going to sell the egg plant frog. And we are going to just become whirly frog breeders because we know where to find them in the waterfall. Frog power. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Now we can come over. And we can get ourselves our little cave. This is gonna be wonderful. There we go. The cave tent for all of our camping needs. Let's actually make it a black cave to reflect the black lava rocks. I'll change the color of the other one to that. Because these are only a hundred simoles, I was, I just, I feel really strongly about like adhering to the spirit of challenges. And because the camper tent is 420, uh, Samoles, that's why I was really dragging my feet on getting it. But now that we have that, we can go ahead, move objects. Is it BB? I think it's BB move objects on. There we go. And now let's decorate a little bit with new plants. Some of the new plants that have come with Dun 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 Island Living. And I'm so excited. I just want to see all of the new plants we have to pick from. So we have got the tea tree, which is quite lovely. This palm-like plant is an attractive fan-like cluster of leaves in amazing color. It us its uses and significance vary, but that doesn't take away from its beautiful foliage. Oh, it's so lovely. Look at the green version of it. Then we have the Exor- Oh, my sister's going to freak. This is one of her favorite trees. It's so beautiful. Oh, I want one of these. Exora is a genus of flowering plant in the Rubacea family. It's the only genus in the tribe Exoria. It consists of tropical evergreens and shrubs and holds around 562 species. Wow, that's, that's like really serious. <laughs> I was expecting some of the similar silliness, but this is quite serious indeed. And look at the beautiful flowers. We've also got the leaning palm trees. So quite a few different palm trees. The short stubby palm tree, which is really adorable. And dwarfs are coconut trees. We've got the holla tree. Whoa, this is the one I saw in the trailer. It's so pretty. Fun fact, the leaves were woven into hats, mats, and roofing material. The segments of the fruit were used to paint brushes, uh, as paintbrushes and for food. Lays have been made with individual sections of the fruit, and wood of the tree has been used to create water pipes, posts, and kibashes. Oh, this would be a really good tree to put down, because then we could say we gathered resources from it to start building our little house, which is so exciting. Oh, and it's 250, so that would put us a lot closer to how much we needed to spend, because that would be like... 350? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. And then, oh, this is so pretty. The Pa-i-Nikiet, uh, 
Honey can canna tree, which I totally butchered. Regardless of its tragic story and different names in different regions, this beautiful tree has been inspirations for songs and poems. What? That sounds like some pixel biology research that we need to do, my friends. A beautiful tree full of tragedy? That actually sounds like something perfect to plop down on our island at some point. It's kind of big, so I'd probably do like a small one for our missing bride. Oh, look at this. We've also got the, let's see, Taitinus tree, beautiful and fragrant. It will give your lot a feeling of an island vacation. Plumeria! I have such a weakness for plumerias. You guys have no idea. We've got the breadfruit tree. Oh! <gasps> It's not actually going to be something we can harvest, I don't believe, but I would be very happy to have a breadfruit tree. That would- Oh, hibiscus tree! Oh, geez. Oh, geez. We found my doom. One of my all-time freaking favorite flowers, and they come in multiple colors. Oh, Hawaii likes small grasses. Oh, look at the bush. Look at this bush. Naupaka. This plant is a thing of legends, quite literally. It's said that two lovers, gently devoted to each other, came to the attention of goddess Pele. Pele found the young man desirable and appeared before him as a beautiful stranger. But no matter what Pele did, the lovers remained devoted to each other. Angered, Pele chased the young man into the mountains, throwing molten lava at him. Pele's sisters witnessed this and saved the young man from a certain death. They changed him into, to save him, they changed him into the mountain Na, uh, Napaka. Pele immediately went after the young woman and chased her towards the sea. But again, Pele's sisters stepped in and changed the lover into the beach uh, Naupaka. It's said that if the mountain Na Naupaka and the beach Naupaka flowers are reunited, the young lovers will be together again. <gasps> That's perfect for our missing bride. Like 100% perfect for our missing bride too. I can't even, I can't even pick which thing I want to put down first. I am so excited. And that's not even the Exora bush. We've also got another bush instead of a tree. We've got bromeliads, <gasps> more bromeliads. And we have a bougainvillea. This is, this is wonderful. I'm going to have to go ahead and I think we're going to start with the hibiscus tree though. <laughs> That's such a classic and that is so something that I love. Okay, actually we'll build our way up to the hibiscus tree. I'm just so excited. I think having a holla tree would be kind of nice to kind of represent like that we can have building material. So now we just need to spend like uh, roughly another hundred. So... Hmm. Okay, the hollow tree is a little expensive. I think I kind of want like the napaka. And then a small Exora tree. No. Um, maybe just like this. There we go. I kind of just wanted, or maybe a bromeliad? Yeah, let's get a bromeliad. That's a little bit more than I meant to spend, but you know what? We're excited, like we're excitable and excited about the plants in this thing, especially because they're plants that reflect like a family home and culture for me, which is just amazing. All right, let's see. I think we'll turn it a little bit. You guys, there we go. We have got her brand new home, a little cave discovered hiding in the bushes. In she goes. And our girl has herself the very beautiful beginnings of a proper little island of her own, her own private tropical island that is literally growing as we go on. This is wonderful. So, all right, we're gonna let her get some rest. And then next time we're gonna try to get down a bush for her to use for the facilities. And then we're going to start building up a canoe so that we can get to the other islands. I am so happy right now. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to help us sprinkle bromeliads and palm trees all around Nalui's new home. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most of all, guys, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.